If your vehicle is equipped with a power lift gate, place the shift lever in park before operating the lift gate. Some vehicles are equipped with a motion activated lift gate. To use the motion activated lift gate, be sure your key fob is within range and make a kicking motion between the ground and the center portion of the rear bumper. After a period of time, a chime will sound and the lift gate will open. Repeat the kicking motion to close the lift gate. Do not kick the underside of the vehicle. If your vehicle does not have the motion activated lift gate, use one of the following methods to open or close the power lift gate. Push the power lift gate switch on the instrument panel. Press and hold the power lift gate button on the intelligent key, or push the lift gate opener switch on the lift gate. A chime will sound. The lift gate will open even if the doors are locked. When you use the instrument panel switch or the power lift gate button on the intelligent key, the lift gate can be set to open to a specific height by performing the following. Open the lift gate using the request switch or the intelligent key. Pull the lift gate down to the desired position and hold. While holding the lift gate in position, press and hold the lift gate switch located on the lift gate for a period of time or until three beeps are heard. After the beeps are heard, the lift gate will only open to the selected position setting. To reset to a different position, repeat this procedure. You'll find the power lift gate main switch on your instrument panel. When this switch is in the off position, power operation is not available to the lift gate opener switch the power liftgate switch, or the motion-activated liftgate system. If the vehicle battery is discharged and the power liftgate cannot be opened, move this lever with a suitable tool to open the liftgate. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.